Well, well, well. It has certainly been a while, but I am back for more image manipulating fun. And for my grand return, I will be tackling one of the biggest, purplest beings in the universe. <laughs> Such a bad intro. I am, of course, talking about Thanos, the Mad Titan. The primary antagonist of the Infinity Saga, with big, bulging purple muscles, and as Epic Rap Battles puts it, his butt, 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 butt chin. You may be wondering, Brad, what is it about this perfect purple specimen that I want, that I would need to change? Well, <laughs> well I have no idea where I'm going with this. Screw it, let's just do it. Oh yeah, I've given this series a name now. I don't know how long it'll stick, but for at least this episode, it is called Shop It. I was going to say cue the intro, but I don't have one. So, cue the logo to just appear on the screen for a bit. So, Thanos. Well, as I've said multiple times in this intro, one of the notable fe- For some reason my brain was like, features. It's because Thanos. Thanos. The features of Thanos, one of the primary features of Thanos, is his purple skin. So I thought, first thing I'm going to do, seeing as I'm just, this episode is literally just playing with Thanos. Which I should mention, isn't the first time I've done this. Uh, cue Blobnos, somewhere on the screen. Blobnos being uh, Thanos and Mr. Blobby. And then there was also um, Trunchbull, what did I call that one? There was Miss Trunchbull Thanos, put that one on the screen as well. And then there was also David S. Pumpkins. Apparently it's a pattern. And you know what? Every channel has to have, like, something that is, like, the motif. Something that's carried through all the episodes. Whether it's your intro and outro, or whether it's, like, a particular joke, like a running gag. For me, it's clearly just that I, I like playing with Thanos. So, the first thing I'm going to do is change the colour of Thanos. Now, I haven't decided what colour I'm going to make him. However, what I should be able to do is add colour that I can just change at whim. So there's a few ways to change the colour of something in this piece of software. Uh, I think the easiest, by far, is to simply make a new layer and set this new layer's blending mode to colour. This means that anything you paint on this layer will apply that colour to the layers below. So for example, if I were to take a paintbrush and do this, you will see that Thanos is now blue. Obviously this isn't clean. His eyes are blue, the area around him is blue, but this is the general idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the skin and then we can put him any colour we want. We can make him any colour. We can make him even more purple. <gasps> Double purple, triple purple. Ex like, extra purple. Like, Violet from Willy Wonka. But with more muscles. Okay. Oh, you're watching a time-lapse, a Brad Rollinson time-lapse. The footage is being sped up. Oh, you're watching a time-lapse, it's Brad doing a time-lapse. A pain in some blue what Thanos Ooh, it's an amazing time lapse, a sped up video time lapse. So you can see exactly what's happening but not having to watch the entire thing over like repeatedly so so it's like super long and you're gonna be like, Oh my god, this is so boring, just speed up and get to the bit next bit, you just get to watch a time lapse, awesome little time lapse. Yes, this is how I'm doing it. This song is going in the background of my time lapse. <laughs> Oh, it's already quite interesting. Oh, I need to saw the eyes. I specifically mentioned that the eyes were wrong. I need to remove that one. Just one second. Just to pretend that this bit was already done and this is me like... Just... Yeah, I'm... Mm, done. I'm, I'm so good. His eyes look misproportioned, but I think it's because he's... He's like... So we initially have blue Thanos, bright blue Thanos. See, what you tend to do when you adjust the colours of things like this, 
you don't want it to be too dramatic because then it won't match the scene it's already in. So if you were going to do this, you would probably drop the opacity down a little bit so that it blends with the original. So you would have something more like that. Yeah, like something like that. I think I think that is... <laughs> Close. Uh, but no, but what this means is we can make Thanos any colour with the magic of hue saturation. So uh, shortcuts. I'm, I'm trying to make this a little bit like an educational video as well as a fun one. So uh, you press um, Control or Command U, I believe, to bring up the hue saturation. And uh, when you're using the hue saturation like this, it only applies it to a single layer. If you wanted to do it non-destructively, from the bottom down here, you can bring up the um, menu, choose it from here, and that appears as a layer. And then if you press, I think it's Alt. Yes, Alt and click, it applies to the layer below it. So, anyway, as I was saying, we can now change the hue and saturation to make Thanos any color we want. So what about a nice green Thanos? Let's see what he looks like. Oh, oh, I quite like the golden Thanos looks. It sort of works with his... Because he's wearing a... His armor's got like a purple look to it anyway. So, like, it's obviously like he's got a golden purple look. But if you make him... Make him gold. Quite, I like it. Okay, so let's let's go for some extremes. What if we push the saturation right to the top and then put this layer right on full? <laughs> right on full. Oh, can we make him like a, like he looks like he's um, like a neon glowing color. Jeez. Okay, he's looking, he's looking a bit Hulk-like now. Uh, let's just make him extra purple. That's specifically what I said I was going to do. Extra purple. There we are. Look at him. Ah, oh, daddy. Daddy purple. Mm. You know what, I think this is, I can't go anymore. This is perfection. I could turn him a different colour. I can make him yellow, I can make him blue, I can make him green, but double, triple purple. In fact, can we make him even more purple? Is it possible to make him more purple? No, I think there's a, there's clearly a maximum amount of purple. It's so purple. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we're meant to be doing more than just purple Thanos. Uh, right, as you can see by the top of the screen here, I've got loads of different pictures of Thanos open. I'm, I'm not going to do all of them, but I wanted a fair selection. So we've got like, oh, pausing Thanos with his background. We've got Thanos looking off into the... You know what, I'm going to play with this one while we're here. Let's liquefy. Liquefy is the go-to. What can we do? Can we try and make his chin bigger? If people haven't watched a lot of my videos before, liquefy is the best tool. <laughs> Oh no, we just make his face longer. <laughs> oh god, he's getting like a handsome Squidward look to him, isn't he? Perfect. And then one final addition. <laughs> there we go. Geef my stones. He just wants his stones. Okay, anyway, sorry, I was cycling through Thanos pictures. Oh, oh, so uh, you can see uh, the, the, the... I'm trying to think of a word. It's not like... Well, that's loud. It's not anger, or it's it's not, it's like frustration, but it's sort of a, like a tension. That's, that's one, one of those words. Blend all three. Frustration. Yeah, he's so uh, this picture shows uh, Thanos feeling a lot of frustration, and uh, this this expression here. This is not a man trying to use his gauntlet to pull a planet down. This is a man on the shitter. Now I'm I'm gonna Google man on toilet. It's gonna go well. <laughs> I gotta show this picture. Look, this this may be this may be copyright owned, so whoever whoever it is, you know, there we go. <laughs> Who would take this? What context do you need this in? What's he doing? <laughs> he looks like he's having an out-of-body experience. He's had a shit so colossal that he's seen the face of God. Anyway, right, I need to find a royalty-free one. Why is this on Wikipedia? I'm, I'm gonna have to show this one as well. 
however, it has got nudity in it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna get rid of the nudity, so that you can because this is on Wikipedia, currently blurring out the thing. Um, let's use purple. Okay, and then reveal. I guess what is this? Who would need this picture? Like I typed in "man on toilet" when people sat on the toilet, but. This guy's just sprawled across it with his dong hanging out. A man and a toilet is the description. I get that Wikipedia is meant to be like an archive of all of humanity and that kind of thing, but this has this doesn't have a purpose. Then maybe it does. Maybe the purpose is to be entertaining to anyone who may be looking for men on toilets. Okay, so picture. Oh my god, there's so many pictures of this dude just on a toilet. I'm tempted to use one of him, but this one here, he's naked, but he's got the toilet seat down. Like he sat on the lid. There's a story behind this guy, and I wish, I wish I had the time to uh, investigate it, but no. There he is again. Toilet Man. Toilet Man. The new channel mascot. Should I just use Toilet Man? Fuck it, I'm using Toilet Man. Okay, Thanos is gonna be on Toilet Man. Screw it. You know what? Here he is. Here is Toilet Man himself. And uh, let's take Thanos's head and put him on. To <laughs> put him on Toilet Man. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm gonna put a little bit of time in to make this uh, fit a bit better. Yes. Time lapse number two. Numero two. I'm so good at languages. We sit and wait for the time lapse to reveal the final picture. Do, do. See, the thing is, I'm wondering if I'm doing these time lapse songs, are they going to get copyright struck? Because technically they're parody, and I'm also not really singing them properly. But I know what, fuck it. And do it all. We see him doing minor changes to the picture. To try and make it look better, so we can see Toilet Man. <laughs> Pause the time lapse to just enjoy this right now. Thanos's face, his teeth are so realistic. A credit to the visual effects company that made him. Look at these number of chin lines. Thanos is purple. <laughs> I'm loving Thanos instead. You know, I would say that that is probably good enough. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> well, as you can see, the um, the process of matching the colours has been. Uh, Quite well executed, the uh, the different colour variations given to the body of the, uh, of the of the subject. The adjustments to make him slightly purple have then been matched on the head, and a little extra bit of care has been taken to make sure that the brightness is matched and that it looks like the light source is coming from the same direction, including a bit of extra colour being added to the upper right-hand side of the head from our perspective to make it look like the same light is being cast. Um, it's... A masterpiece, a masterpiece of um, art, and it should belong in a gallery somewhere. And I hope that man on toilet bracket six bracket JPEG. I hope that the creator and or subject of this image is pleased with the way it has been used in this fashion. I think I should move on. Looking a lot more noble here, we have Thanos, clad in his mighty armor with his helm upon his head. Very close-up image of the face here, but there's something wrong with this face, and do you know what that is? The thing that's wrong with this face is that it's not Nick Cage. Where are you, Mr. Cage? Now, the question is, do I use a normal picture of Nick Cage, or do I use one of the strange ones? And, obviously, there are many strange ones. See, there's the classic this one. <laughs> you know, let's let's preview this. I tell you what, what I'll do is I can take Thanos' helmet and put that on its own separate layer, which means that I can then just put the faces underneath it. So I guess I'll do that first. 
Oh, is it is it is it musical time lapse time? Man, if this video gets copyright struck, it's gonna be so funny. Okay, let's have a look. He zooms, then he rubbers, he cuts, and then he masks, and the image changes color, and then it changes brightness, and Thanos is purple, and he invades planets, and Nicolas Cage is not purple, and probably does invade planets, and I really hope this doesn't get copyright struck, and I hope that this video is monetizable eventually when I manage to get at the um, partner, so if you want to subscribe and help me to do that, then it's great. Okay. It's a quick job. It can be tidied up later. It is just for seeing whether it's going to work. So, without further ado... <laughs> and then let's get rid of everything around it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm almost tempted just to leave this one there. Do I make him purple or do I make the neck not purple. Which one is it to hide the mask? Oh, did I just... Oh, have I... Oh, it's because the thing on top of it. Okay. Um, yeah, so, sorry. I what I was getting confused with there. So, uh, when you use mask layers, you can press Shift, Control, and Alt to do different things. So, if you press Shift, you can view what the layer looks like without the mask applied. Uh, if you press Alt, it creates a selection of the... Um, the dark areas of the mask, or is it the light areas? It's the dark areas. Uh, no, it's the light areas. Okay, yeah, it takes a selection of the um, the brighter areas of the mask. And then if you press Alt, it will show you just the mask. Yeah, so I can see uh, how much skin is below there, uh, which I, th I think it's enough. I need, I just, I need, uh, not you. I need skin here. And then if I put this layer back on, and remove just these bits <laughs> it just because i've had to stretch the part of the neck out there it just looks like he's got like he's like this uh yeah so the one other thing this needs i'm, I'm not going to put too much detail into making this look absolutely perfect but uh first of all he needs less color in his face because this image is just generally a bit cooler and that'll probably do and then if you look at the picture of thanos wherever the helmet is across his face there is obviously a strong shadow because there is a there's clearly a light source in this scene that is particularly direct. So easiest way to do this quickly is just black paintbrush layer. That kind of works. Doesn't need to be too specific. <laughs> uh, I love doing this. I'm gonna clone this bit out here so it looks like his jaw is wider. <laughs> in fact I could liquefy that. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> yes. Oh, excellent. Okay. I don't know how many more Thanos pictures I'm going to mess with. This video is already going to be quite long, but hopefully it's amusing. Uh, but while we're while we're talking about Nick Cage, I have an announcement. So, I have recently uh, started up a Discord server for this channel and for my gaming channel, Overdog Gaming, link in the description. Oh god, I'm, oh, oh, that, that sounded like a proper little uh, a proper little YouTube plug then. Oh, I feel dirty. Um, yes, uh, so there'll also be a link to the Discord in the description as well. And in the Discord, I'm running Photoshop competitions. So basically, um, I put the competition in, there's like a channel for it, I put what the competition is you participate and then the winner or winners get presented in future um shopping videos so this particular competition the first one i ever did was i told everybody that i would be i wanted pictures of nick cage's face on other people i think i may have said movie screenshots or posters specifically um, and I got uh, I got a few entries, but because I got so few entries, I'm actually going to show all of them. So everybody gets credit. So I got four entries. The first entry was from Niche, Nisha, as you all know. And <laughs> Nisha took the scene from Titanic with the that thing, the arms out scene, the famous scene. And uh, I think Nick Cage, he makes a beautiful rose. And... If there has not been a film with Nicolas Cage and Leonardo, Di Leonardo DiCaprio yet, there should be. 
I think those two would be ex have, well, they'd have excellent chemistry. You must agree. Uh, the second one submitted was a bit of a joke one. Uh, it was submitted by a good friend of mine, Tom. Tom runs the Sleepless Readings channel. Uh, I will provide an annotation to that channel up there somewhere. So that uh, if you want to check out some of his horror stories, he reads out um, various horror stories, but he has a deep voice and he also does many other good voices. So would highly recommend. Um, he has a particular video, which I will also link, uh, where he does Biggie the Bee. And I hate it. I I hate it. So he's, he sent me a Big E the B. It's basically the thumbnail for his video, but with Nicolas Cage's face on the B. <sighs> Next up, a uh, picture submitted by Hackerson, who is a good friend of mine, Ben. Um, has Ben appeared on this channel? I think he might have done. If he hasn't, he will at some point. You'll see Ben. Um, funniest thing about this one, though. So he sent me this, uh, this Photoshop here of Nicolas Cage's face on Hans Gruber from Die Hard as he is about to fall spoilers but the funniest thing about this is that when i tried to save the image i found out what uh what ben called it he called it mr cage won't be joining us for the rest of his life <laughs> which gave me a little bit of a tickle when i saved it seeing as i'm linking things uh, there'll also be an annotation up here which links to uh my friend ben's podcast which is a uh, creative writing pop podcast probably talk more about it in a different video but that's up there there's episodes of me in so if you go and watch if you go and watch listen you don't watch podcasts you don't listen you'll hear me the final entry saw so tom's biggie the b one he said it was a joke so he submitted another one for me uh which is shall i say a masterpiece it is the poster for avengers cage of ultron and as you can see nicholas cage has overtaken the faces of many of the people in the posters uh, i'm a little disappointed i think has he done black widow i don't think he has i would have liked to have, to have seen every single face done tom but i think that the small number you did is satisfactory i think uh, scarlet witch hasn't been done i think uh, quicksilver's not been done nick fury's not been done you slacked tom i expect better next time but uh i think the uh it's made up for <laughs> made up for by the captain america one i think i've got one final thing i'm going to do and this one is odd so it was requested a while back on one of my other videos. Uh, well, I mean, I'll show you the comment. So this comment came from someone called Quinton. Um, and they said, Brad, how much would I need to pay you to Photoshop Thanos wearing a high-vis vest and holding a can of carling? And I replied with something along the lines of, pay me? I'll do that shit for free. Now, I don't know why he wants this image, and part of me thinks it might be because he has a colleague that he works with who looks like Thanos. So, if this picture is going to be used for bullying, I'm going to say to you now, Quinton, no, not allowed. Forbidden. However, if, he, if it is used for friendly japes and jests, then go ahead. Don't condone bullying. Not at all. Unless it's this little prick. So yeah, final image. Thanos high vis vest carling. Right. So I've got I've got a picture of Thanos. Uh, chosen specifically because he's got his hand in the wanking position, ready to hold a can of something. Uh, and I chose a high vis vest that looks like it could fit on him. So I guess, without further ado, let's just have a go. Cause he's a broad boy. Is, uh, is Thanos. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of liquefying. The classic liquefying to make this fit onto his actual sh like shape structure. Right, hang on. I'm going to get rid of the V. Because I actually don't need the back of this. Like We're not, not going to see the label. His neck is the thickness. And it will be very visible. The neck, not the label. Sure, Brad. Okay, so if people are not familiar with liquefy... There is an option to show the backdrop, but for some reason is not showing the backdrop. Okay, I seem to have fixed it. For some reason, a locked layer can't be used as a backdrop for a liquify. No idea why, but uh, it seems to be working now. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the plan here is to make this more accurately fit the shape of the big man himself. 
Um, oh, wait, no. So I want his opacity on full. I want just this layer. Back to a sense preventing the preview from showing the image changes. Why? Why? Yes. There we go. What was that about? What was that about? Anyway, it's working now. It's fine. I fixed it all on my own. Be proud. Tell me I'm great. Tell me I'm great in the comment section. Inflate my ego. The main things I need to do are make it look like it's the right direction. So obviously his chest is going out into that way. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm tweaking the angle of this. Yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. So if I get rid of this bit here as well. Oh, his hand's obviously in the way. I've got to do that as well. Could I cheat by making a new layer of the hand and then selecting the subject? Oh, I can. Oh, it's so good. And then I need to get rid of this so that his bulging, his bulging arms come through. Mmm. Man, I bet I would not be surprised. I mean, I, I'm not actually surprised because I know this is going to be true. There's going to be an enormous number of people just simping for uh, Daddy Thanos. How's this? <laughs> oh, it's actually working quite well. Um, if I had a bit more time, I would probably try and put skin across here, but I think it's fine. Like, I, I imagine that um, Quinton isn't going to care too much that there's a little bit of Ch Thanos breastplate visible. Uh, the next part of this that I need to do, though, is I need to put a kind of carling in his hand. And I imagine the best way to do this is to just get rid of this thumb. So then what I can do is take the can of carling original lager from Burton on Trent, Great Britain. Also, not hashtag not sponsored by carling. There we go. <laughs> yes. I really hope that the person, uh, Quinton was it, who um, commented on this, is still watching these videos. Because this was a long time ago when they mentioned this. I've only just gotten around to doing it. It's been on my list of things to do. At the moment, my channel is particularly small. That This channel, like it's got like 8,000 subs, but the number of views per video is fairly low. So it does mean that if you comment with a request, there's a high chance I can do it. At least at the moment. I can't guarantee every single one, but what I will say is... Any ideas for future videos, if you have any suggestions at all, you put them in the comments because these are fun. I like doing this stuff. Uh, yes, I... Uh... So something you'll you'll learn if you watch a lot of my videos is that I will start many sentences that don't end. And it's just something you're going to have to get used to because that's just how I roll. I have this thing where I just keep talking and then when I get to the end of the sentence, I can't remember where the sentence started. Which doesn't make for good content. Anyway, hi Viz Thanos, here we go. So, Quinton, your request has been fulfilled. Here is Daddy Thanos with a high Viz vest on holding a can of carling as requested. And on that note, I will be closing off this particular episode of Shop It. So, if you watched this far, thank you. Thank you for sticking with it. This feels like it's going to be quite long, but hopefully in an entertaining way. I'm going to get on my watch time now, and it'll be like, the views, 100. Watch time, 1 minute. It's like everyone turned it off. Uh, yeah, no, if, if you want to see more of these, again, comment section, because the, uh, the comments are a very good way of letting me know what's good and what's not. So don't be an asshole, but if something doesn't work, just be like, I didn't find that very fun, Brad. Or, you went on a bit too long, you waffled too long, you're, you're singing during the time lapse of bits and wasn't entertaining, because I, I'm not interested in fun. So, I've done it again, what was I saying? Comment section, yeah, leave stuff in the comments, let me know what's good, what's bad, what you enjoy, what you didn't like. And obviously you can hop into the Discord and chat to me directly, I'll probably be in and out of there a fair amount of time, a fair lot, lots of times in there, I'm, I'm, it's my Discord ring the bell for notifications on future videos there will be hopefully many more videos coming there's gonna be challenge videos short films visual effects tests and of course more photoshops uh, some alone and possibly some more with nisha that we we enjoy doing those challenges they're quite fun there's one with film that we've not uploaded yet which i should probably message her about because that was a while back now it was like january uh, so disorganized I'm rambling so much. Let's just close off with a message to Alex 
if you're watching this, I can see you. I can see you sat there staring at my face, listening to what I'm saying. I'm on to you, Alex. I know the truth. I know what you did last week. I know exactly what you did. I don't know if there's anyone watching called Alex, but if there is, that would have been really funny. There's an end there somewhere, right? Thank you.